Welcome to the Inbox. In this section, you'll learn the basics of communicating with customers in Podium. This is the most frequently used part of Podium and has transformed how thousands of businesses like yours build better relationships with their customers. We'll explore the basics of the Inbox, show you how to send and receive messages in Podium, and share some best practices. We'll start by showing you around the Inbox and demonstrate how to send and respond to messages. This is the inbox. It's the main place to message your leads and customers from. Whenever someone contacts your business via text message or any connected channel, it will appear here. You can send or respond to messages anytime. To start a new conversation, click the blue pencil icon. Enter the contact information of the person you'd like to message. Let's say that you need to confirm an appointment with John, one of your customers. Type his name and select New Contact. Add his cell phone number, then type your message in the Message Composer. When you're ready, hit Send and John will receive your note via text message. When he responds, it will appear in the message thread here. Now, let's discuss how the inbox is laid out to help you manage it effectively. Messages are organized into three inboxes, all conversations, unassigned conversations, and conversations assigned to you. If your business has just one location, the all folder shows you all the messages you've received. If your business has multiple locations, the all folder includes all messages sent to that particular location. The Assigned to You inbox lets you quickly find messages that you created yourself or that have been assigned to you. Next, you'll see your organization's team inboxes. By default, there are three team inboxes, General, Leads, and Reviews. You can create new team inboxes specific to your business, so there may be additional ones in your Podium account. If your business has multiple locations using Podium, you can filter the inbox so it only shows customers or conversations relevant to a single location. It's important to note that your inbox is based on the specific business location you choose. If your business has multiple locations, you can choose which location you'd like to send and receive messages from. Note that certain users may only have access to specific locations based on the permissions set by your Podium account admin. Next, let's cover template management. In this section, you'll learn how to create, use, and edit templates in Podium. Templates are pre-written messages that can save you valuable time. For example, if you send a text to customers when a technician is on their way to a service appointment, Instead of rewriting the same message over and over again, you can create a templated message and send it with just a couple clicks. You can see all of your available message templates from the inbox by going to the Message Composer and clicking Templates. You'll see all the templated messages available to you, including templates you've selected as favorites, as well as recently used templates. You can create a new template by clicking Create New. Add a title for your new template, ideally something that clearly explains what this template should be used for. Add an email subject line if you plan on sending this template as an email. If you only want to use it in text messages, you can skip this step. Write your templated message. You can personalize templated messages by adding variables to the message. Click the box icon to see all the variables you can use. For example, if I want my templated message to include the recipient's first name, I'll choose the customer first name variable. Then, no matter who I send the templated message to, the template will always populate their first name, assuming their name is saved in Podium. Finally, decide if you want the template to be available to all locations or only the ones you specify. When you're done, click Save. To use the new template, click it. 
Then click Send or Send and Close. If needed, you can edit templates directly in the inbox. Click the template icon again, and then click the pencil icon to the right of the message you would like to edit. Let's take a moment to talk about managing messages from other platforms in the Podium inbox. Your customers or clients likely find and message you from Google, Facebook, email, text messaging, or your website. Getting messages from so many apps and platforms can be overwhelming and time consuming. But with Podium, you can manage conversations from all of these different channels in one easy to use inbox. That way, you don't have to log into multiple systems to keep in touch with all of your customers. Not to mention, you can access Podium from a desktop or your smartphone, so conversations can keep moving no matter where you are. Once you've connected Podium to your business's Google Business Profile and Facebook page and have connected web chat to your website, you'll see messages from all these channels appear in the inbox. You can respond directly in Podium and your customer will receive the message in whatever platform they used to contact you. To end, let's talk about some best practices when using the Podium inbox. Although you're likely answering inquiries as soon as you can, it's helpful to set a goal for the length of time a message can remain in the inbox unanswered, sometimes referred to as a response rate. Once you determine the maximum amount of time you're comfortable letting a message go unanswered, you can set up automated notifications to alert your team when a new message has gone unanswered for longer than the allotted time. Choose an inbox to set up an alert for, then click the More Options icon. Click Inbox Settings, then Automations. Next, click New Rule. Add your chosen amount of time. We'll use 15 minutes in this example. Then select Notify a Team Member. Choose which user or group of users should be altered when a new message goes unanswered for longer than 15 minutes. And click Save Inbox. Now, any time a message in this inbox starts getting stale, your team will receive a notification via email or desktop notifications. We also recommend keeping your inboxes clean and organized by making a habit of closing conversations when they're finished. Once a conversation has hit its natural stopping point, you can simply select the conversation, then hit the close icon. Alternatively, when you send your final message to the customer and know the conversation has ended, you can hit send and close, which will send your message and automatically move it to the closed folder. You can always reopen closed conversations, so don't be afraid to close conversations to keep your inbox clean and easy to navigate. Lastly, be sure to get the word out that your business is now textable. Once your customers know that they can text you, you'll be shocked at how many choose to do so rather than call or email. A few great places to share your textable number with your customers include your website, your social media accounts, and any other marketing channels you use.